Now in this chapter we are going to learn the concept of magnetism. We we'll start with the induced magnetism. The magnetism induced by a bar magnet on magnetic materials. The temporary magnetism acquired by a magnetic material when it is kept near or in contact with a magnet is called induced magnetism. A magnetic pole induces an opposite polarity on the near end and a similar polarity on the farther end of the iron bar. Lines of magnetic field the space around a magnet in which the needle of compass rests in the direction other than the geographic north or direction is called the magnetic field of the magnet this is basically the magnetic field properties of magnetic field lines they are closed and continuous curves outside the magnet they are directed from the north pole towards the south pole of the magnet the tangent at any point on a field line gives the direction of magnetic field at that point they never intersect one another two curves of magnetic field lines intersect one another this is basically one of the unique properties of magnetic field lines then the next is they are crowded near the poles of the magnet where the magnetic field is strong and far away near the middle of the magnet the magnetic field is weak next property is parallel and equidistant field lines represent a uniform magnetic field the earth's magnetic field in a limited space is uniform they behave like a stretched elastic rubber strip magnetic field of earth a freely suspended magnetic needle always rests in geographical north south direction an iron rod buried inside the earth along north south direction becomes a magnet Natu neutral points are obtained on plotting the field lines of a magnet where the net magnetic field is zero a magnetic needle rests with its geometric axis making different angles with horizontal when suspended at different places on the these are some of the evidences of existence of earth's magnetic field two places where the magnetic needle becomes vertical are called magnetic poles the line joining the places where the magnetic needle becomes horizontal is called the magnetic ink. this is basically equator these are the poles south pole and plotting of uniform magnetic field lines on earth Earth's magnetic field is uniform in a limited space. Plotting of non-uniform magnetic field of a strong bar magnet and neutral points. Non-uniform magnetic field lines you can see in bar magnet in horseshoe magnet and in bar magnet you can see two like poles facing facing each other in horseshoe magnet you can see two unlike poles facing each other. So this is basically non-uniform magnetic field lines. When the magnet is placed with its north pole pointing towards north this is something look like that when the magnet is placed with its south pole pointing towards north this is how the diagram will look like neutral points are the points at which two magnetic fields are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction the net magnetic field at a neutral point is zero a compass needle if placed at the neutral point will rest in any direction a horseshoe magnet has two iron needles attached at its end go on a diagram the positions occupied by needles and name the phenomenon which comes in so the given figure shows the iron needles attached at the ends of a horseshoe magnet the lower ends of both the needles get attracted towards each other is the opposite polarities the upper ends touching the pole of the magnet have polarities opposite to that of the magnet this phenomenon is called as magnetic induction and here you can see the north and south pole of horseshoe magnet now the concept of electromagnet an electromagnet is a temporary strong magnet made from a piece of soft iron by flowing current in the coil wound around it i shaped electromagnet this is how the diagram will look like then horseshoe electromagnet this is how the electricity is passed through the soft iron of horseshoe design and how it is made like a magnet ways of increasing the magnetic field of an electromagnet it can be done by increasing the number of turns of winding in a solenoid it can also be done by increasing the current through solenoid comparison of an electromagnet with a permanent magnet electromagnet is made of soft iron while permanent magnet is made of steel electromagnet produces magnetic field so long as current flows in its coil that is it produces temporary magnetic field permanent magnet produces a permanent magnet in electromagnet the magnetic field strength can be changed but that is not possible in the case of permanent magnet in the electromagnet magnetic field of an electromagnet can 
be very strong but magnetic field of a permanent magnet is not so strong because it is something which cannot be changed something which cannot be manipulated the polarity of an electromagnet can be reversed but the polarity of a permanent magnet can never be reversed electromagnet can easily be demagnetized by switching of the current but permanent magnet can not be easily demagnetized advantages of an electromagnet over a permanent magnet an electromagnet has a following advantages over a permanent magnet first an electromagnet can produce a strong magnetic field second the strength of a magnetic field of an electromagnet can easily be changed by changing the current in its solenoid the polarity of electromagnet can be reversed by reversing the direction of current in its solenoid now uses of electromagnets it is used for lifting and transporting heavy iron scrap girders plates etc particularly when it is not convenient to take the help of human labor for separating iron pieces from debris and ores where iron exists as impurities this these are some uses of electromagnets apart from that it also can be used in several electrical device such as electric bell telegraph electric tram electric motor relay microphone loudspeaker etc then use of electromagnet in an electric bell let's talk about construction and wiring the main parts of the bell are horseshoe electromagnet m having a soft iron core we have a soft iron core armature then we have a hammer then we bond then we have a metallic strip then we have a adjusting screw then we have a switch and a battery everything has been mentioned in the table diagram you can look by yourself working and function of parts of electric bell when the electric circuit is closed by pressing the switch k the current flows through the coil cc and core of the electromagnet gets magnetized and therefore attracts the armature a as shown in the figure due to the movement of armature the hammer at strike the gong g and bell rings when the armature a due to magnetic attraction moves towards the electromagnet the connection between the strip ss and the screw s breaks due to which the flow of current in the coil stops consequently the electromagnet loses magnetism and gets demagnetized the armature a flies back to its original position due to the spring effect of the strip ss now the armature a again touches the screw s <coughs> now the armature a again touches the screw s resulting in the flow of current in the coil the electromagnet regains its magnetism and the armature a is again attracted the hammer h again strikes the gong g this process continues and apart from that the process of make and break of the circuit goes on and the hammer strikes the gong repeatedly so the bell rings as long as the switch key kept that's all in the lecture thank you for watching all the best